Can you possibly guess which brewery's beer Redbeard is about to try? What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer and the glass of the today. We have got a can of Canadian Amber by Big Rig Brewery. And the big rig glass. Oh yeah, really, really excited to get into this beer. This was sent to me along with this shirt and this glass by Big Rig Brewery. Because they're awesome. They actually sent me two cans of this and two cans of their Alpha Ball IPA, which I already had previously and loved. So, really quite, quite stoked to uh, get this into my belly. Let's crack her open. See what we've got. This is not all gonna fit in there, I don't think. So, um, you know, it's the only, only drawback of this glass. The only one. It's definitely got a bit of a cloudy appearance to it. Kind of dark amber, hence the amber. <laughs> Little off-white, almost like a honey, honey hue to the head. Maybe doesn't really come through in the camera, but hey. Hmm. It's got a nice uh, kind of toasted caramel, toasted malty aroma going on. Let's give her a shot. Mm. Mm. That is not bad at all. It's got a nice kind of... Nice little sweetness that I'm not really sure what to describe that as, but then that kind of goes into some nice malty caramel deliciousness flavors. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And, of course, big cheers going out to you folks at Big Rig for sending the swag Redbeard's way. He loves you. Yeah, that sweetness actually works really well with the multi flavors. Everything's just very nicely balanced in this beer. I think I can maybe get the rest of this in there now. Probably just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got ya. All in, baby. Might as well read the can now as well since I've already taken it off that and stuff. Big Rig Canadian Amber is a true celebration of our country. 100% brewed with the very best ingredients grown in Canada. Subtly sweet notes complementing its refreshing, delicate, hopped body. This is a beer we can call our own. I'm not really getting any kind of hoppiness out of that. We got ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. And we have a date as well. So, yeah, everything everything you need. And it's a it's a nice can too. Got a really pretty cityscape on there. I like it. Oh yeah, 5.2% alcohol and also, oh yeah, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those of you watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very very much. Let's do this again. Okay, I guess, I guess maybe there's a little bit of a hoppy presence there, but like it's a delicate, very delicately hopped. Overall though, this is a really nice kind of crisp, clean, easy drinking, tasty beer. doesn't have a ton of like really kind of explosive flavors going on everything's kind of muted a little bit but yeah that just makes it that much easier to drink I guess you could say and it's very very easy drinking for sure
Today being September 12th, on this date in 1959, the Soviet Union launched a large rocket called Lunik 2 at the moon. They were basically just seeing if they could hit the moon because they were in the space race and wanted to be the first ones to put people on the moon. And they were actually the first ones to hit the moon with something. Pretty impressive. The state's first, the closest try before then was off by like 3,500 miles or 30, sorry, 35,000 miles or something. It's impressive. In 1992, NASA launched the Space Shuttle Endeavor on STS-47, which marked the 50th shuttle mission. It's so sad that they launched that many missions into space and everything, and then they shut it down. And now NASA doesn't really have any way to put people into space, aside from hitchhiking rides onto Russian ones and waiting for maybe the whole SpaceX thing to become viable and all this kind of... It's kind of sad what happened to NASA. In 1994, Frank Eugene Quarter crashed a single-engine Cessna 150 into the White House's south lawn, striking the west wing. The incident claimed his life. Nobody knows really why he did that. The president wasn't even home when, in, when he flew it into there. Like So people thought maybe he was trying to kill the president, but the president wasn't even home. And then other people think he was just doing it to kind of get his name into history because he was like depressed and suicidal. Either way... They got him into history. Actually pretty impressive that he was able to crash that that close and hit the west wing of the White House without anybody in the American military freaking out or anything. Because the American military, you know, they like to overreact just a little bit sometimes. And finally in 2011, the 9-11 Memorial Museum... Memorial... The 9-11 Memorial Museum in New York City open to the public. Kind of, you know. I guess they didn't want to do it on September 11th because that would have been kind of, I don't know, disrespectful maybe, but I don't see how. Weird that they opened it on September 12th. Anyway. Yep, that's what happened. Just day in the past. Among a few other things. I have to admit, just like the uh, Iron Spike Copper from Railway City that was had not long ago. This is the last new beer from Big Rig that I am going to have for a while, I think, maybe. It's uh, kind of saddening. Stuff's not really exciting at all or anything, just it's, it's just nice. Just nice beer. You know, it's not offensive. It's not super crazy punch of any kind of flavor in your mouth. It's just pleasant. Yeah, it's just nice, good beer. Drink this instead of a boring lager. You know, because it's, it's just as easy to drink, but it's got some nice kind of character to it. It's not like super boring like Rolling Rock was. Good God, that was a boring beer. Anyway, let us kill the Canadian Amber. Drink number is the last. Seriously? I burped as I was drinking that. Sorry. Didn't affect. Didn't make a mess. Didn't affect anything really bad. All good. So, Big Rig Brewery, your Canadian Amber rating. Hmm. It's a solid eight and a half. Like I said, it's, it's nothing really exciting. It's just nice, good, easy drinking beer. You know, have it with some friends. I do like it a lot. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video, and an extra thank you going out to Big Rig Brewery for sending this and this and this my way along with the coaster, and yeah, you guys are awesome. If you like this video, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button, and if you've got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow! Peace out!
like to do this very often, but every now and then, you know, please share me with your friends. Spread me around like some kind of incurable disease. I'd like to reach more of you and attempt to entertain more of you and have more interaction with you. And I don't know. I, I love you guys for watching my videos, but I, I, I want more of you to watch my videos. And I don't know, just kind of, I want this to become a thing. More, more, more of a thing. It's a thing now, but I want it to be a thing thing. If that makes any sense whatsoever.